So we are continuing with um, um, creating and editing shape files, and this time around we are going to be talking about um, line shape files. So as usual, we go to our art catalog, and in this create uh, an edit shape files folder, we'll click on new and uh, click on shape file. So the shape file we need now will say major roots, as it were. And uh, the type of shape file will be a polyline. Now the coordinate system will be this coordinate system, and we click OK. So now that creates this um, uh, major roots shape file. So we can go ahead and edit it. We we'll start editing, and so and uh, okay. Don't mind all these. Some of them were because of the changes that we've made in the spatial reference system but we don't mind it we can continue editing so in this place uh, we're going to click on the create features and uh, our interest is in the major roads and what we need is a line so let this go for now and if we look at this place lines uh, on maps are always represented with uh, i mean uh, what's it called now so major roads on topographic maps are always represented using this kind of uh, red line so in order to do that we will have to remember our snapping is on that's why this thing is uh, working here so we will now have to digitize this line so the best thing to do is to just uh, center on the line that's just how to go about it you click and center on the line you use the down arrow button to go to where you need to get to Okay, here this thing is called here. So we go here, and that is how we create a line shaper. So we still go up here and see how this is. So creating lines are quite easy. We can create some lines here. So this is me making it to be very, very good but we can always do this but if we put it at this uh, zoom level we may not uh, see what is ongoing so so we will uh, go down and uh, let it come up here okay and uh, that about ends the line so we can create the line here so if we open the table table it doesn't have any other uh, field there so before we add field we have to save this edit and stop editing so that we can add a field so we'll say we can say type we can add two data fields here and the text will leave it at 50 and add another one and it will say name because many roots have got some names so we'll do that to text and we'll click OK. So we can come here and uh, expand this a little bit, bring this back here, and bring this back here. So now that we have this, we can now start our editing session again. And what we're editing are the major roads. So, okay, let's avoid this warning. So the type here, we can name it major root. And uh, we'll name this. Um, as um, let's say um, Mina Zongeru Road. This is just hypothetical. Usually, this road should have a name, and um, whatever the name may be, we can have that. Okay, now that we have this, we'll go to this place and see. So, the next thing for us to do is to, if we look at this place and look at this. Um, uh, attribute table we will now notice that this particular feature with these dotted lines is um, let's come here it's actually a real a real line so let's get to see real lines here so we would um, construct that particular real line as it were it's not easily visible here but I know it's real line so main roads these are secondary roads, minor roads, minor paths. Okay, these railway stations and crossings. So let us digitize the railway stations and crossings. So we go to this place 
zoom to layer and uh, want to our interest is in digitizing uh, this particular railway so we come here we we'll continue with our our editing session we're interested in the roads so we can put line although classically it's not road but since it's a line feature we can still leave it that way and make it the road so all we need to do is to digitize it i'm going to pause the video let me finish doing it okay so that is done now and uh, let us right click on this place and uh, let's go to the attribute table now we now see this other one so the type here is railway railway and uh, this is a uh, zungero railway if we name it as such so in naming them we would we'll see how these things are named so this is how we, we we digitize it so we can also make these minor footpaths you can also uh, uh digitize them and actually create them as such so let's stop editing and we'll see how to uh display them so now that we have these rules so let's uh, take this off let's take boundary off let's take this off and this one off okay no the major rules should be on and now we see that we just have uh two sets of lines that are the same but we can also change them or we'll go to properties and uh, we go to symbology and we will go to on the category section we want to label this feature by type we uncheck this and say add all values so we have major road and railway so but we have to style this line this major road like i told you has uh, this particular feature and if we use this for example of course you can create a lot of types for your major road you can use this one as a freeway and uh, style it the way you want depending on the style you can even reduce the increase the size to five or seven or four you know and uh, for the railway you can style it but if you want to style the railway in a special way for example this is the uh, type that is given as the agile standard but you can also style it in different ways so let's accept this in the future videos i'll show you how to do some different styling so we can use this as railway and click apply so in this case we can now see that we have a different symbol for the railway and a different symbol for the major road so if we check this here now we'll see this is our railway that we have digitized and this is our major road it seems as if this is actually blocking it but once we uncheck this we'll see our roads and our railway so this is how we create uh, some line shapers and edit them and in the future work we can also create other features for example these contours can be digitized in case we want to make a DEM we can digitize this contour and use it to create a DEM that will be in our future videos we have all these rivers that we can digitize so anything that has these lines like the contours the rivers all these are live features you can also uh, digitize them all these are uh, minor roads you can also digitize all this so that is a work that you can try on your own and let's see how it works so thank you for watching this video that ends our session on editing uh, shape files and the shape files that we talked about we talked about points we talked about polygons and now we have talked about lines and how they can be represented differently so you try it out and let me see uh, the kind of uh, thing that you've come up with thank you very